In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your account within Smartsheet. So you'll need to go to smartsheet.com and here you will be brought to their homepage where you can find information on their products, resources, how much it costs at the time that you are viewing this. And you can even check out a demo if you would like to do that too. So go ahead in the top and click on try Smartsheet for free. And it's going to say, get started for free with your work account. Cancel anytime, no risk, instant access. So you'll want to go ahead and put in your work email address. And then click try Smartsheet for free. Then it'll say, please check your inbox. And to start using it, click the confirmation link in the email. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to my email and do that now. Okay, once you click the confirmation link inside of your inbox from Smartsheet, you will be prompted to go ahead and create a password. It says a password must have 10 characters and uh, don't reuse a password from another site and use letters, numbers, and special characters. So go ahead and enter your password now. And then you'll need to go ahead and agree to the Smartsheet user agreement and hit next. And then it'll go ahead and walk you through a wizard in creating your first project. Um, but we're going to do this from scratch and I want to get in and start showing you the interface. So go ahead and click skip and create for now. And when you come to the screen, it will automatically create a sheet for you, which we can go ahead and get rid of. But there will be uh, this tooltip over here on the left hand side showing you different actions. You probably want to scroll through this and just take a look at these real quick and read through them before continuing so that you understand kind of the basics of how Smartsheet works. If you uh, want to just exit this out, that's OK, um, because we're going to talk all about this. So once you have your account created, you can see a new sheet has been added in automatically. Um, we will delete this and start over. Uh, however, I just want to let you look at the top right here. It says the Smartsheet logo, and then it says where you can upgrade, and it has 29 days left on our account. So it says don't lose control of your work. If your free trial of the business plan expires, your work will be locked for 90 days and then delete. To avoid this, upgrade to a paid plan before the end of your trial. And so you'll want to go and click on the upgrade button. And when you do, you will be brought to the upgrade section of Smartsheet. Here you can upgrade to the pro plan, the business or the enterprise plan. And you can see what each one of those includes. For right now, we're not going to upgrade. I'm just going to stay with the business plan. But you do need to keep in mind that if you are using this just for yourself, uh, just one person and one license at the pro rate, um, that you have a limited amount of features, where with the business plan, you uh, will get more features. However, you have to have a minimum of three licenses, and it's $25 per license per month at the time of this recording. Now, the prices may change as software does but I do want you to keep in mind that when you purchase a business plan you are going to be paying for three licenses not just the one standard rate that they're showing here so just keep that in mind we'll go ahead and exit this in the top right hand corner once you exit out of that you are brought back into your sheet this is the one that was created at the very beginning and what I want you to do is go to the left hand side of the screen and click on this browse icon and this is going to take you to the browse menu. This is basically the file management section of Smartsheet. And here we can see our sheets, our workspaces, our deleted items. If we created any specific types of sheets, reports, or dashboards, or anything of that nature will be shown here. Now we're going to go ahead and just delete this out so that whenever we start, we can start with a fresh new project. And so just go up to my first project and right click. And then you can go down to delete. And it says, are you sure you want to delete this item? And then we will hit delete. And it has deleted that project for us. If you go under and you look under the sheets or the workspaces, you will see there's no information there. And then if we go back up to the home button, you can see that we have no projects or anything. So now we can begin creating with the fresh slate straight from Smartsheet. 